Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you uh, one of the new 2020 Micro Machine play sets. This is one of four of this style of fold up sets. This is the Car Wash Expanding play set. And um, you can see they went with this packaging style where you, you kind of have the set um, kind of unassembled in the package there. So, you know, it, it kind of makes the actual toy look a little bigger than it actually is the way that they did this here. So. I mean, I'm not a super big fan of that packaging style because essentially you're, uh, you know, you're paying for a fairly large box, but you get the actual toy out of the box and it's like, huh, that's actually not as big as it, you know, kind of seems obviously because it's already assembled in the box. Um, but anyway, this is $15, which really, I guess, isn't a terrible price. Uh, you can see basically all of the features right there. And, uh, you know, you got the car wash, you got an elevator, some uh, little repair centers and whatnot, and a little dryer exit there. I'll show you the back of the box and everything too, but yeah, um, about $15. I picked mine up on Amazon, but you can get them at uh, Target and um, probably other places at some point as well. So here, uh, it's got a little selection of features, working elevator. Uh, folding wash station, folding ramp, and uh, you can see that this is what it kind of looks like when it's all folded up. And I do kind of like the fold-up feature, but, um, you know, that's something they've kind of been doing with this new lineup of Micro Machines play sets, is that uh, all of them are foldable in some way. And it, I think it would have been kind of cool if they made some of them at least where, you know, that folding thing wasn't... Uh, prerequisite for the playset, you know, just make some nice cityscape sets that aren't designed to fold up so that you can uh, kind of maximize um, the actual playset itself without uh, having to make features a little bit compressed or kind of oddly placed or whatever just so the set can fold up. Anyways, here's a look at the back of the box. You can see uh, basically what you can see on the front. So it's also got this express air tunnel thing and you know, all that stuff. So, kind of an interesting playset. I guess I really don't have a ton to say about it. The, you can see on the bottom here the uh, all four sets in this collection. Bottom of the box just has a little bit of boring text there. Hasbro and Wicked Cool Toys. Um, then this other side of the box again just shows the playset. So, and here is the top. So we'll go ahead and open this up so I can uh, show you uh, basically what we have inside here. I think um, I might go at this from the bottom actually. So let's see if I can get this out without too much difficulty. So we got the two pieces of tape here, actually four pieces of tape. Alright, so inside here it looks like we've got um, a little uh, manual, so this is kind of cool. This is uh, kind of reminiscent of old-fashioned things that used to include these little booklets that show you all the other Micro Machines available in the series and stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that we would get that in here. Um, we've also got the uh, uh, instruction manual here, and unfortunately with these kind of sets, um, they do already put on the stickers. I kind of wish that they would give you a sticker sheet so you could do it yourself and uh, make sure that you place them right. When they do it kind of in the factory, there's always some little uh, flaws here and there, but you know, that's how it is. It, uh, you know, they kind of want to make it so it's ready to play with out of the box. So we'll go ahead and take this out. All right, so this is uh, very easy just pulling it out of uh, the packaging there. Now we do have uh, the mess of untangling all these lines back here, and uh, then we should have the playset all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all taken care of, and then we'll uh, take a look uh, take a look at all of the uh, features and everything. All right, so here's everything you get inside the box. You get the uh, main playset, you get the car, and then you got the uh, one piece of track, and then this is a. Uh, a little bit of a kind of like a end piece or drive up ramp or something so it's pretty much set to go now I want to show you before we uh, uh, before I give you kind of a overview of the uh, actual playset just kind of reviewing it um, just show you this uh, little insert here 
And uh, this basically shows you all the different car packs you can get. So you got starter packs, single packs, and single packs. That's actually kind of cool. Um, didn't know they were doing single packs. That's neat. Um, and similar to Hot Wheels, they're kind of doing like this ultra rare sort of thing and rare thing. So I think in some of these multi packs, you can find uh, just you know here and there you get these uh, gold and silver cars, which is kind of neat. So you can kind of be on the hunt for those in the stores. Anyway, there. Anyway, there is the front, and then you got the back here with uh, world packs. So I think these are some of the five packs, maybe, and then um, play sets. I guess these are. Yeah, these are the these are the cards that come with each of these four play sets, and then um, okay, you can see what comes with the Super Van City, the Park and Go, um, and then I'm not sure. This one says Hauler. I don't know if that's another. You know, another playset that's yet to come or whatever, I'm not sure, but in any case, it shows the cars. I wish it would actually show the uh, playsets in this little insert, you know, pictures of those, but it just shows the cars. And then uh, you have this instruction manual, so uh, we may as well take a look at that too. So it shows you how to close the playset. Obviously, it's open out of the box, you got to know how to close it up also shows you the different play zones and kind of how to use them. I'm just going to kind of wing it and not really go with these instructions uh, too much, but uh, can also connect it with other play sets using that uh, connector piece there. And then there's a lot of blank space on the back too, so anyways, next we'll take a look at the set here. Alright, so now that we kind of looked at the instructions, I'll uh, put these a uh, couple of these pieces on here see if I can figure out where they go and I think this one is supposed to go in the back here so that uh, you can kind of drive up into the elevator there um, and this one you can uh, attach to this other section here and you can attach it this way it looks like or you could do um, this other way and I'll just uh, I guess I'll just leave it uh, like this it doesn't really matter which way you do it I guess if uh, if you're going to connect it with other play sets, you might want to uh, do it one way or the other. Um, I kind of wish that, uh, you know, instead of having like these clips on the bottom or something, they could have like, you know, maybe a connector piece and you could attach more tracks to it or something, but uh, it's just a connector piece. You can connect it with another play set. But with that, let's see if I can figure out how these features work. So we got the car here and um, essentially this piece here is the car wash, you know, drive in one way drive through the car wash this way and drive through the car wash this way. That's what you do with that. And these brushes here, they do, um, you know, they do rotate and stuff. If you had a wider car, I imagine you could actually pretend like you're cleaning the car, but otherwise uh, not so much. Um, got a flip down ramp here, and this is kind of interesting the way this is uh, designed, I guess. It's kind of got like a speed bump in there, and that's just so that it kind of looks, um, Normal, I guess, when you close it, it has this little uh, arch shape here when you're going to close this up. So kind of interesting. Not sure if I like that too much. I maybe prefer a more straight ramp, but it is what it is. Um, so you can drive the car up here if you want. Um, and then it's got the working elevator, which I'll show you that. So on the back, um, it's got this little lever here. So you can maybe double this when you're on the bottom as like a... Uh, a little ladder or something, but basically you just pull that up and down and it, it's kind of a little bit of a like a it's not a super smooth elevator just my first impressions, but it's not bad or anything um, so and it also doesn't really want to go all the way down on the bottom floor because it's uh, kind of clipping on this track actually which is kind of annoying um, so I would think that you know, you'd want to drive up to this and it'd be level, but it isn't, so. But you can drive the car in there, lift the car up. Let's see. Um, up here, we've got this little repair uh, center thing. So uh, you can kind of drive the car in here, I guess, although the car doesn't really, doesn't really fit all that well. I mean, I guess you just pretend like you're fixing the car over here or whatever. Um, let's see if you can kind of fold it like that and then maybe drive the car in or something. So kind of goofy. I'm not sure if I really like that part too much, but anyways, that kind of swivels in and out. 
And then uh, the last little piece here, I guess, and it's really, really a quick little review here, but uh, drive the car down the uh, a little speed exit here, this little dryer feature, so there's that, and then you can uh, drive them through this little entrance here. So that basically takes care of the features, and um, yeah, a lot, there's a few little uh, neat little areas you can drive the car around and stuff, so that's not too bad. Um, now let's see if I can figure out how to fold this up. And I'm just gonna, let's see, push this in. I'm guessing you keep the elevator up here. Um, just so there's room for this thing to fold up and then put this ramp in and then it looks like there's plenty of room where I could just maybe put this in here and the car could just maybe go here. Again, I don't want to read the instructions just because I'm lazy, but um, it looks like you can just fold it up like that and uh, it should be good to go. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's actually really nice that it just folds up like that. And um, this kind of swivels back and forth, and I could take this out too, and I suppose store that in there somewhere. Um, now, you, I think you gotta be kind of careful because you can see that there's openings all over the place, so I think I put the car in a good place here such that it's not gonna uh, move anywhere when it's in transport. Um, you gotta be careful. So this, I guess I would maybe wanna put this uh, right on top of the car or something just so that it's not gonna um, sneak out anywhere. Let's see, now I'm having trouble closing it because that, uh, maybe that's in the way, I'm not sure. I guess you gotta kinda work at it a little bit. But, anyway, so I'll, I'm just kinda shaking this and I'm not losing any pieces, so I think this is, uh, pretty good to go. Anyways, that's what it looks like folded up, and as you can see, just comparing it to the box again, um, so you gotta fold up the box. Let's see, I'm gonna lift this up. Obviously, you could have fit this into a much smaller box um, than what is included, but they kind of this is kind of a selling tactic, I think, to make the make it look a little bigger. Um, kind of open it up and show it off in this big box. And it kind of makes it seem like you're getting more for your money, I guess. But you know, it really isn't that big of a set, to be honest. So um, but yeah, there it is, the car wash expanding playset from Micro Machines. I hope you enjoyed this little review of it. I guess my main criticism of this before I kind of finish the review is just that, you know, it's it, it seems like a few of the features of it are a little constrained because it's got to fold up into this little shape here. And I think they could have made a little bit, bit better of a car wash if it was just kind of its own standalone set that didn't have to fold up. So I don't know, maybe that'll be coming if uh, these sell well enough, who knows, but. Anyways, there it was, the car wash playset from Micro Machines. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in another video.